Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to describe my early experience with Decimase Membrane Endothelial Keratoplasty, also known as DMEC. You can see here this patient has a very cloudy cornea. The endothelial cells are non-functional. A higher mag view so shows that you cannot discern the details of the iris or the lens implant. There's microcystic edema, and this patient's vision is hand movement only. They are legally blind. In the operating room, we can see the cornea is cloudy, and we have anesthetized this eye with topical anesthetic. We placed some bridal sutures to secure the eye, and then we pre-mark the corneal epithelium with an 8 millimeter tree fine. We then use a reverse Sinsky hook to score the endothelium in the area that we intend to remove it from within the eye. We place an irrigation and aspiration cannula in and begin to peel away decimase membrane and the layer of endothelial cells which are not functioning at a level to enable this cornea to remain clear. In order to facilitate visualization of decimase membrane, we infuse Vision Blue. The Vision Blue stains the decimase membrane, and we're able to remove the 8 millimeter button that was scored, as well as any residual fragments. Here, we've turned our attention to the donor cornea and we're peeling away decimase membrane and endothelial cells which have been pre-marked to an 8 millimeter diameter. This layer of cells then forms a tight scroll which we float in balanced salt solution. We then transfer decimase membrane and endothelium which are in the scroll to a bath of balanced salt solution and place it into an IOL injector a 2.8 millimeter corneal incision is made through that incision we inject the donor scroll a 10 nylon suture has been pre-placed the eye is hypotenuse during in Injection of the scroll. We secure the scroll in the anterior chamber uh, by securing our pre placed nylon suture. The scroll is configured such that the endothelial cells are on the outer surface of the scroll and decimase membrane is on the inner surface of the scroll. We shallow the anterior chamber and using our cannulas we gently unfold the scroll. In order to determine if the scroll is in the correct orientation with the endothelial cells uh, facing the iris plane, we use a handheld slit lamp to visualize the scroll. The scroll has been flattened. We then use a 30 gauge cannula, inject a small bubble of air, and then gently uh, sweep the donor scroll. Uh, help it unfold and center it. Once we've confirmed that the donor decimase membrane and endothelium is correctly oriented, centered, and in proper position, we fill the anterior chamber with air. And this pushes the donor layer adjacent to the patient's own posterior stroma. The results have been amazing. This is the post-operative day one appearance. The appearance of this patient's eye 
less than 24 hours, hours after surgery. The cornea is crystal clear. What you see here is there's a residual air bubble in the anterior chamber. A side-by-side -side view shows the preoperative view screen left and the postoperative day number one view screen right. The relative improvement has resulted in the patient seeing 2030 the day after surgery, despite the fact that there's still an air bubble in the eye. So this eye, which was legally blind prior to surgery, became an eye that could achieve 2030 vision without any glasses in less than 24 hours after surgery. So we're able to achieve amazing results with this awesome procedure called DMAC. Thank you for your time and attention.